Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. Now, the reggae boys will be looking to right the wrongs from their opening encounter against the USA when they face Trinidad and Tobago in their second match at the CONCACAF Gold Cup in Missouri today. The Jamaicans will go into the match as favourites, but head coach Jaime Holgrimson says, based on two recent friendly internationals, he knows the Soka Warriors will be no pushovers. We know it's going to be hard to break them down. So one of the key things is to be patient, is to be... Uh, yeah, continue to, to, to knock on the door as, as long as we need without getting over ambitious in, in what we are doing. Trinidad and Tobago are at the top of Group A after their 3 0 win over St. Kitts and Nevis, while Jamaica currently sits second after their 1 0 draw with defending champions USA. The match will kick off at 6 36 p.m. Jamaica time. And the second match of the ODI series between the West Indies women and Ireland women has been delayed due to adverse weather. The match was scheduled to bowl off at 8.30 a.m. Jamaica time. The West Indies women will go in search of win number two and a serious clinching victory after they beat the Irish women by 58 runs in the opening match. Led by a top score of 109 from Captain Haley Matthews, who was also the pick of the bowlers with 3 for 53, the West Indies, West Indies women had an easy 58-run victory over the tourists on Monday to start the series. And Jamaica mined two more medals on Tuesday evening at the CAC Games being hosted jointly by El Salvador and the Dominican Republic. The nation's Rugby Sevens team copped silver after, beat, after being beaten 28-7 in the final by Colombia. The scores were tied at seven apiece at half time, but the Jamaicans couldn't stop the onslaught from Colombia in the second half as they scored 21 points unanswered. And Taisha Mattis copped bronze in artistic gymnastics in the uneven bars competition. Mattis ended with 12.75 points to take the third spot to take Jamaica's medal tally at the Games to three. In other events on Tuesday, Jamaica's women's rugby sevens team was beaten 10-5 by Venezuela in the third place playoff. The nation's women's hockey team lost 4-0 to Trinidad and Tobago in Group A. Uh, and Sunil Ellington ended sixth in the men's 109 kilogram section in the men's weightlifting competition. The nation, the nation currently has two silver and a bronze medal. At World Championships, representatives Zanikta Alvaranga, Sidrel Williams and Akito Campbell highlight Jamaica's 30-member team to the 2023 Central American and the Caribbean Amateur Swimming Confederation CC Can Championships. Williams and Campbell are joined in the 18 and over category by Zachary Jackson Blaine and Nathaniel Thomas, while Sabrina Lynn joins Alvaranga as female members in the 18 and over section. Junior standouts Nelson Denny, Benjamin Davis, Brady Lewinson, Jaden Lynch, Devon Robe and Charles McIntosh will swim in the 15 and over category, 15 to 17 category for boys. On the girls' side, Jamaica will be represented by Gianni Francis, Alia Heaven, Caroline Levy Powell, Christania Shirley, and Liana Wainwright. There are 12 girls and 18 boys named to the team, which will be coached by Kafia Rapley, with Miguel Jonas as her assistant. Dr. Hilary Nixon will serve as team manager and Dr. Diallo Brown will travel as a physiotherapist. And that's it for your Midday Sports Report. Anthony? Thank you very much, Jordan. And that's the Midday News. I'm Anthony Lugg. Join us at 7 for Primetime News. On behalf of the news, sports and production teams, good afternoon.